and in this video we're going to look at the Zoom's interface and so we'll start off you can just see this is the basic menu it's quite easy to work around it's not a quick wheel as most people think you got the back button you got the place pause and you can go into music you can go to your songs genres albums playlists everything it's quite easy to navigate it's got the nice lettering system like the iPod is just implemented and most other people have and so you just pick it, you can play it all, you can send it and then you just go into it and it gives you another option to play that spe specific song, add to quick list or send, so you just go play and then it's got this nice album up which takes up most of the screen and then it's got the song information down the bottom it's got the song name, that album and the artist and then you've got the battery information and whether it's playing and then it shows you how long it's gone through and then it's got a nice internal menu where you can rate um, the song show what songs are in that list that you're playing whether it be a playlist or an album and then you can choose to shuffle or plate um, whether you want to shuffle the what your song list or whether you want to repeat and let's just get back into that and then you can send it and flag it and flag it just basically puts it in your inbox with those that you um, with those um, songs and pictures that you receive and so let's go back that's the music section and the video is it's quite nice um, it doesn't have much of a menu it it's basically just lists all the movies that you have so let's just look at one of the max boosts you can choose to resume or play from the beginning and it's easy to move through the songs and let's play from the beginning and so let's turn it on its side and so as you can see it's playing it's got a nice internal menu uh, it's not really a menu it's just got information about it, let's go back it tells you the title, the date and the date that it was put on or created, I'm not sure which and how long it is and a little description but this has no description so um, yeah, and so let's just get out of the movie and let's go back and let's go into pictures and as you can see, view by folder, view by date and so you just go in and you can play it as a slideshow or you can send the photos and so you can just go in it's quite easy to change the background uh, just change it to this nice red one and so as you can see, it displays it like it displays the videos on its side so you just press the middle button again to get the internal menu and then you can choose to zoom in and you just press the middle button again to zoom out or you could um, sh shuffle if you're doing a um, slideshow you can apply as background and the slideshow I just applied the background just then we'll see how it changes later and you can send it and flag it so let's just get out of this and as you can see uh, hopefully you can see my background's being changed and so that's about it on the pictures and then let's go to the radio feature and you can choose between radio what radio station it has auto seek automatically on but you can just press the middle button and you can turn it off and you can choose let's go to something that I don't have and you can choose to add it to your presets top option or it gives you a, a list of your presets or you could go back, you could go to one of your presets um, there and you can has the option to remove it from your presets quite easy to use, the radio feature and so let's go into community it shows you what you lo look like to other people shows who's nearby but my wireless is off, I'm in Australia, there's no one else who has Zoom and your inbox, what you've been sent, whether it be movie or you can't really send movies, songs or pictures and that's basically it in the community and then you can go in the settings, it gives you a variety of features whether to turn the wireless on or off in the music, the shuffle, repeat or equalizer pictures, the transitions, how long and whether to shuffle display, this is quite nice, you can choose a the theme you can choose the backlight, mine is set to 15 seconds and the brightness which doesn't really that make that much of a difference, I just have it on low I find with it on low it doesn't change anything for me and whether you want to have TV out 
And when you choose the TV out option, it eliminates what's on the screen and just puts it um, on your TV. Or you can choose your TV um, system between NTSC and PAL. And so let's go back. Sounds, um, when you're going up and down, as well as the sound made by the clicking of this, you have sounds in your headphones or your speakers, but I don't like that, so I turned it off. And the radio, where you are, and your online status, basic or detailed. Basic just says you're online or offline. Well, basically online, because they can only see you if you're online. online. And detailed shows what you're listening to and what you're doing. And so I keep it on basic. And about tells you about the Zoom. And storage, how many songs, how many pictures, how many videos, how much space has been used, and how much is free, and the legal issues. And so, that's basically it of the Zoom interface. Quite nice interface. Um, it's one of the top ones out there. Comparable, well it's not really comparable to the iPod. It does have the nice background that you can choose. You can choose any background and you can see everything clearly. So that's quite good. And fairly easy to navigate. The nice back button and the play pause button and this um, directional uh, thing. It's quite nice. And that's about it on the interface of the Zoom. Okay, bye.